Hello and welcome to EasyLux. In this product video, we will show you how to install the PD360i24 Duo Plus SM and PD-C360i24 Duo Plus FM ceiling mounted presence detectors. Both devices are identical except in terms of how they are installed. They provide a detection range of 24 meters with a 360 degree field of detection. The recommended mounting height is 2.5 to 3 meters. The EasyLux ceiling mounted presence detectors are ideal for independently controlling two lighting areas, for example in rooms with window areas and internal areas. We generally recommend installing these products in the middle of a room. The detector must be positioned between the two sets of lighting that are to be controlled independently of each other. However, the exact position ultimately depends on the characteristics of the room. To ensure that the presence detectors work effectively, it's important that the detector has an unobstructed view of employees and their workplace. Channel 1 of the detector is used for presence and brightness dependent lighting control of the internal area, that is, the dark side of the room, while channel 2 is used for presence and brightness dependent lighting control of the window area, that is, the light side of the room. Settings for the switch off delay time, the short impulse, and test function and the brightness target value can be configured. In addition, the ceiling mounted presence detector has a presence dependent switch contact, which can be used for various functions, including a switch off delay for the heating, ventilation, or air conditioning, also referred to in abbreviated form as HVAC. Please note that the presence detectors may be installed only by authorised personnel in compliance with the installation regulations and standards applicable in the country of use. During the installation process, the five safety rules must be observed. Please also note that this video only depicts the installation process for the presence detectors with the item numbers shown here. Two possible installation types are available. The FM variant can be easily installed in a standard flush mounted box. The SM variant is suitable for surface mounting. Unlike the flush mounted variant, this model should be installed before it is connected. The power section must be aligned according to the marking, with channel 1 facing the wall and channel 2 facing the window. The operating voltage of the ceiling mounted presence detector is 230 volts AC. The phase is connected to the L terminal. The N terminal is used for connecting the neutral conductor. The L-1 terminal is the switched output from channel 1. The L-2 terminal is the switched output from channel 2. Buttons for the relevant channels can be connected to terminals S1 and S2. Floating terminals D1 and D2 can be used to connect heating, ventilation or air conditioning units as required. A button for the HVAC contact can be connected to terminal S, marked with a fan symbol. If necessary, you can connect slave devices to the terminal S1 to extend your detection area. The master detector will be able to differ between signals from a push button or a slave device. Please note that only up to a maximum number of 10 slave devices may be connected to one master device. Total length of cable may not exceed 100 meters in length. Once you have wired the power section, secure it using two screws. Before securing the sensor section to the power section, ensure that the dip switches have been pre-configured for the relevant application. If the first dip switch points towards the remote control symbol, parameters can only be configured remotely. For this reason, settings cannot be modified via potentiometers. If the switch points towards the screwdriver symbol, 
Sabotage protection is active. Settings cannot be configured remotely. They can only be modified via potentiometers. The second dip switch allows you to select between the fully automatic and semi-automatic lighting control modes. If semi-automatic mode is active, the third dip switch can be used to configure whether the user can use the button to only switch on the lighting or to switch the light on and off. The sensitivity of the detector can be modified using the fourth dip switch, S-Min, for optional masking of interference sources such as fans and heating elements. Once you have secured the sensor section in place, the power supply can be switched on again. The warm-up phase is then initiated. This phase lasts approximately 25 seconds. During this time, the lighting is switched on. The LEDs on the ceiling-mounted presence detectors flash to visually indicate that the warm-up phase is in progress, twice in blue, once in green, and once in red. When the warm-up phase is complete, the red LED flashes as soon as a movement is detected in the field of detection. If the presence dependent switch contact is active, the green LED flashes simultaneously. If the detector has been switched to programming mode via remote control, this is indicated by a blue LED. The ceiling mounted presence detectors are delivered with a pre configured program and are set to fully automatic mode X Works. The potentiometers for the brightness target values for channels 1 and 2 are set to 400 lux. The coupled switch-off delay time for channels 1 and 2 is set to approximately 5 minutes. If necessary, you can modify the parameters by rotating the relevant potentiometer. To enable you to accurately configure the detector parameters, we recommend the Mobile PDI MDI or Mobile PDI MDI Universal remote controls. If a particular part of the room does not need to be monitored by the detector, you can mask the relevant section of the field of detection using the lens mask. The lens mask can be useful for masking interference sources, such as fans and heating elements. Cut the lens mask along the marked lines as required. Then, place the lens mask in the cover and secure the lens mask in place by rotating it slightly. The detector is now ready for use. You can find more information about our products at easylux.com.